DJ from Morgan Gumbo, I've got my guest here, Tim Burdick from Thunderworks Games, and we're talking spicy hot games and another game. Look, this is going to get me super excited. You put a theme park and Vincent Dutre. <laughs> you don't give me anything else, Tim. This is all you showed me. And I was like, okay, we got to talk about this game tonight. Tell me about theme parks. I can't find anything on the internet. It's like, I, I want to know, Tim. Give us the show. <laughs> Well, so the reason you don't see very much is that there really isn't a whole lot to show yet. So we, we're already working on the art. And as you know, Vincent Dutre's artwork is amazing. Um, and uh, Vincent Dutre, I'll say, talented artist, and like all artists, works uh, on a timeline that is different than everyone else, <laughs> right? Um, you can't, you can't uh, rush creativity. And I... I <laughs> You can't look at this, man. <laughs> so, so of course, his, his work is amazing. Now, the designer for this uh, is a brand new designer. No wow. other designs before. Um, okay. So, but uh, Keith uh, picked up this up uh, um, when somebody uh, sent it to him. And uh, his name is Nate Linhart. Uh, and he just fell in love with it. It's a great game. So, we, we've been developing it since uh, back early uh, well, late 2019, early 2020. Um, was, was it always theme parks, or did, did it morph into uh, that when you picked it up? Yes. Um, there was some talk of, like, could we make it into the role-player universe? But not everything fits in the role-player universe. So um, this is one that uh, we just felt it, it theme park was a, a great um, a great theme for it. And so it is, of course, it's a city-building game where you are going to be developing your own theme park building roller coasters and amusement uh, rides and concession stands and, uh, you know, crazy wild out like carnies. No, I made that last part up. There's no crazy wild out carnies. But. <laughs> you, you know, the past, the crazy carnies and, then, and then, you know, something happens depending on what you decide. Right? <laughs> so so then, back behind the line, Jeremy. I'm right. Right. No, so, no. Yeah, so this one's this this it's got uh, you know tiling where you're gonna have certain like sort of polyamino tiles that you're gonna have to fit together. Um, troller coasters, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to fit this into the role player universe. Yes, I know, I know. We 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 we've tried to do that as well, but so there's yeah, so it's uh, there is a BGG entry for it. So if you want to go out, there's a little bit of stuff on there, not very much. Um, this one. We, we don't have a date for it, uh, probably going to be uh, late 2021, early 2022. Um, or right to retail? Um, this one, I think... Well, these are obviously a stretch goal. <laughs> yeah, I th I'm not sure on this. I, I want to say, I, I, I think, I may be getting confused with uh, Kate May, which is going to be straight to retail. I think this one is going to be kickstarted. Um, but it'll, it, you know, either way, uh, we'll we'll have it pre-order on our, our oh, website yeah. as well. Work, it is worker placement, and it's a little bit of tile building, right? And you're building yeah. out your theme park and competitors in competition with others, or is it one yes. big theme park that we're all building? No, you're 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 all going to be uh, you're you're building your own park. Yeah, you're building your own park. Hey, Fiona's um, checking in. Hello, Fiona. Look, we're looking at theme parks. Take a look. <laughs> so each each player is building out their own theme park. Yeah, it, will, it goes over five rounds, five years, um, and uh, there's um, a kind of um, uh, there will be a, a limited number of tiles that will be available that people can purchase and then place them. Um, and placement, obviously, uh, optimal placement is important on your board. Um, so it, it it kind of has that. Uh, uh, it, that part of it reminds me of uh, Baron Park. If you play Baron Park, um, feels like that. You're kind of, but um, I'm looking at this cover, and is this cover giving us any hint a little bit as to what's going on? There's, there's kind of some roller coasters there and some midway yes. rides there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, you'll get to choose. Do you do you, do you build a, a wooden roller coaster, or do you build the the steel roller coaster? Do you um, do you, do you build a, the you know the the concession stand uh, or outdoor uh, dining food court. You know, so all these kinds of choices. Um, 
we'll, One we'll of my uh, best determine the point. Favorite games ever was Roller Coaster Tycoon. I don't know if you ever played the <laughs> Roller Coaster Tycoon, and that was just just the decision to which coasters to put in and what concessions to put in. I just yeah. that love that game. I'm still looking for that game that does it well. Maybe theme parks is the one, right? Right, Tim? Good. That, that I, I I had that same feeling when I uh, did the playtesting. I felt uh, it felt like that uh, roller coaster tycoon. Yeah.